everybody welcome back to my channel welcome to another vloggy vlog 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 a vlog where we are going out and about adventuring in Daisy again now I am just getting her prepped and ready because we are off for an arena eventing training session with Cameron at Pontespool tomorrow oh my goodness this weather oh it stopped just like that it keeps coming and going the most torrential rain and I'm sad to say that it has put pay to our plans oh that was almost a tongue twister um at the weekend the reason for going training tomorrow with cam was ahead of the riding club qualifiers at bicton on saturday however sadly due to the blasted weather and the consistent rain that we have had as you can see in my fields bicton have sadly had to cancel i'm not sure if it's due to their arenas being underwater or the parking being underwater i'm not sure i know that it is due to the constant rain that we've had for the last two weeks so sadly we are not going there but here it comes again we are still going to be going for the training session tomorrow the forecast thankfully tomorrow doesn't look too hideous but at present it is vile I'm pleased to say that em and addy are coming with us because they were meant to be going to bicton two at the weekend so addy is actually going to have her longest trip in daisy the day tracker yet so I'm just getting it all ready. I'm going to pop in two hay nets of the same haylage so that there's no fighting going on in there whilst they are travelling together. Thankfully, my new trailer has additional head partitions so that they can't nibble each other or come back round from the bar and nibble each other too. And it's also got the camera so I can keep an eye on them whilst they are traveling. Bedding is all looking okay in there. So like I said, it's just a case of getting the hay nets in, getting some water on board, getting my tack loaded up. And then when Robbo gets home from work, getting him to check the lights and everything with me and give the tires a quick check over too. Now, as you know, living in rainy Cornwall, I love it when I can say sunny Cornwall, but I can't say that today. We do have to travel a lot of miles when we go eventing, training, everything. We don't have many facilities aside from Coleraine or many events that do run down here in Cornwall. So I am often traveling lots and lots of miles with my precious cargo and my besties precious cargo on board. So ensuring uh, almost a pun, ensuring, ensuring and ensuring that they are safe, well, and that their transport is ensured is imperative. Now, this video is in collaboration with the fabulous team at SEIB. Both Daisy and previous to Daisy, Elsa, were stroke R, insured with SEIB. Air ambulance. <laughs> about you but sorting out things like insurance I always find quite daunting it's one of those things that you know you must get right and you need to set time aside to do however when you are manic you're a bit like here there and everywhere you're like yeah I keep putting that off I keep putting that off when I spoke to Grana at SEIB he was super helpful he made it as quick as can be but without without missing any of the vital facts he gave me all the options I mean that is quite an array of options with insurance whether you want additional breakdown cover you know all the questions that need to be asked and you need to get the right answers to yeah for some reason i find it daunting doing things like that i think it's because when it comes to car insurance etc robo sorts it all out but obviously with regards to elsa and daisy's insurance tina needed to sort it all out so i spoke to a lovely chap called grant he was super duper helpful important facts about seib are they cover a huge variety of trailers up to the value of thirty thousand pounds that would be an uber nice trailer wouldn't it they cover you for fire theft and accidental damage like I say, they give the additional option of breakdown cover should you need it, replacement trailer should you need it. They will cover your trailer for public liability. They also cover hire trailers. So even if you want to insure, say, a friend's trailer or you're borrowing a trailer off somebody, then you can get it insured with them 
for up to one year period. Now, I was told when speaking to Georgina from SEIB that next year, SEIB are celebrating their diamond anniversary, which means they have been taking care of people's horse insurance and trailer insurance for 60 years. So you do know that if you insure with them, you are definitely in experienced and safe hands. So if your trailer's insurance does need renewing soon, maybe even your horse insurance, or maybe you don't actually have your trailer insured at all at the moment, then do give them a ring. The number will be in the description box below, or if you're short for time, you can fill in their little five minute online application and they will get back to you with a quote. They are rated excellent on Trustpilot and they are sure to give you a very good level of service. So as I said, do check out the details below and thank you again, SEIB, for helping me and for collaborating with me on this video. I'm gonna get my pony clean now before it gets dark. He's sleeping at present, but he needs to be clean for tomorrow. Look at all this mud. Ugh. But before your bath, I'm gonna get these hay nets sorted out, get the ramp back up and put my tack in. <laughs> right, we'll go, we're here. It's the next day. I haven't vlogged <laughs> anything prior to getting here because our plans, sadly, had to slightly change, didn't they, Em? A little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. Em is still here. Em is still, still here, here, but it's only the I'm three of us. I'm just being a groom for today. Sadly. 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 I started taking the rug off. Oh, we only did halfway. Yes. So Unfortunately, Addy, Addy, woo, woo. So as much as Addy would have loved to have been here, and as I'm much honest. as Tina prepared to hang it. <laughs> um. Yeah, unfortunately, Andy was a little bit keen to get out this morning and I thought, if anybody follows me on Instagram, will know that I had a problem catching them yesterday, which yeah. I'd rather I'd had a problem catching them today. But these things happen for a reason. She had a little bit of a trip when she came out of her stable this morning and thankfully it is completely and utterly superficial. I'll be honest, I was still going to bring her. Um, it's just that she's got a little cut on her knee. I've trotted her up. She's sound as a pound. And I was like, oh, we can still go. And then actually I just thought about it and was like, is it worth it? She's put, my probably going to feel a little bit more stiff tomorrow, even though she is sound. So what is the point? Traveling her this way and no then way, going in and going in and jumping. And especially because it is on her knee and I don't want to like snapping up for fences and touching it. Yeah. And it's not... Literally, it's just taken hair off. It's so superficial, and exactly. we know what horses are like. But, but, and again, even though you haven't had to use it, or won't have to use it because it is so small, but it reiterates the importance of insurance. Exactly, 100%. Because it feels worse and she needed to have stitches and stuff. I know, and things yeah. always happen right when you don't want them to. Just before they? Christmas. But, but blessing in disguise, the fact that Victon isn't happening at the weekend. I know. So you're not missing out on the training for that. Yeah. Um, we've and I'm not rushing her to get there. Exactly, okay. exactly that. She can have a little bit of chill time whilst it heals, like we say. And I nearly did go, oh, it's fine, I don't need to go then. But then I remembered that big B. <laughs> that big B that's coming around next May. And actually, my challenge to myself is to ensure that I jump. I keep saying the word insure and I keep saying it wrong insure. because I'm thinking about insurance. <laughs> Not ensure, to ensure something to happens. Um, that I jump a solid fence at least once monthly. So that's Just what's happening. This is my you. November Not fence. for banks, but for you. For me, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not for him at all. Yeah. Um, I'm going to speak to Cameron. I don't want to do anything overly massive, um, but I want to work on some technical lines and work on getting my striding how I plan it to be as opposed to what it just works out to be. What banks he plans it to or be. Or what banks he plans it to be. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah, me banks. necessarily pushing him for long ones because we know no. he doesn't like that, but going on we're the plan, five what we plan, and then we do what we plan. Yeah. yeah. Does that sound good? This isn't the great golden hour light, really, is it? I don't know, sorry. It's blinding. <laughs> Why don't you get off and walk your strides? Like, oh, but like we did my go, Right, walk. I'm now going to plan to ride five. Because of how point. it's walked. Yeah. Good shout. Hmm. That means getting on and off. But yeah. yeah. Anyway, right. <laughs> you're going to leg ups, it's Let, fine. Yeah, exactly. Well, you've got a load of um, solid I'll fences hand around. Hand over to mic footage. Yeah. Thankfully, the fabulous videographers come. You had actually managed to get somebody <laughs> to come and so film us both. <laughs> I've even ordered mics. I was influenced by tea. I've ordered mics influenced. myself. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put the link below if anybody wants to be influenced by mics. I'm not very, I'm not doing very good at um, groom duty. So yeah, camera down, and we'll see you in the lesson in a second. How are you doing? I'm doing. <laughs> What's your name, Joey Triviani? <laughs> How are you doing? 
You can reflect that a little bit. I was I in serious coaching mode, and then you're taking the mic. <laughs> Sorry, I'm good. How are you? I'm very Long good. Long time no see. You. It's been less than a week. Oh, God, yes. I've yeah, got yeah. a saddle today. Um, oh, I think we can take it off again. Uh, I think I, not. Can... I've got this lovely number <laughs> that I need to show off, so unfortunately we can't. Well, I um, maybe we'll start the session with it on. Okay. And then take it off halfway along. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, no. So no, I will no, admit, no. I when, nearly... Well, Emily, I see you're here. You've got your riding stuff. You could do a bit of bareback afterwards. Do you know? I did say to Em to try and cheer her up. I tried Em, yeah. the, the transmitter's not on, babe. Oh, man. You have to press and turn it on. Sorry. Joey Trippiani. <laughs> That's all right. It was still recorded to the mics. Press and hold. It's quite a long time. You're in a room. I'm actually I'm about to be the chirpy one out of the two, oh, haven't I? Yes. No, I was yep. I'm joking. <laughs> I was a kind friend and I did offer her a lesson on Banksy. Yeah. But obviously I was a bit like, is that gonna go one of two ways? Bless her, it might cheer her up, it might upset her. <laughs> she said, No, she's fine very much, thank you. Yep, and good. also, Tina, stop trying to revert to old ways and get out of training. Yes. We've yeah, got yeah, a big yeah. B coming up next year. Well, a little yeah, it's <laughs> something, isn't it? Sort so of my time. goal is, and I did tell you last week, yep. to get over a solid fence. Yep. Fences at least once, once a month. Once a month, yeah, perfect. And so this is November's yep. series of training over, over solid fences. fences. Um, and then December, what are we going to do? So you actually probably now your competition has been moved. Yeah, so yep. it might be in, do It's you now know? on the 3rd. Of December? Of December. Oh, there we go. Find yep. out something new every day. <laughs> it's on the 3rd of December. That's fab. Well, I'm yep. here for that. Perfect. And that's at Bicton. Yep. And I am training at Bicton across country beforehand. But oh, even better. Three, we I might even do know. two in November we might then. might have to do two in November. Great. Yep. Um, good. Fab. So what are your main things for today that you want to perhaps be I said about? I would like to and ride some related distances. Yeah, perfect. And alter my strides in between on what I want as opposed to what he chooses. Is that a good idea that or not? That sounds like a brilliant idea as long as we keep the body position that we like. Yeah, so okay. you don't suddenly revert to either here or being here whilst trying to change the distance. The position okay. being more important, I would argue. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think we'll we'll start playing. There's plenty here, as we know from coming last time. The beauty I of know, it it's here. it's been a whole year since yes. we've trained over solid fences together. I know we do a little bit of roll stone, but generally we do show yeah, but the there. beauty of it here is we have the undulations, the steps and the ditches. Yep. Um, so, and the water. And the water, exactly. Um, you love the water, don't you? Fab. <laughs> fab. Right. Start warming up. Or should I say checking in? Um, obviously, for the cross country, you want to be checking in that you can stop, you can go and you can steer. Yeah. By that, I mean, can you do a walk to canter? Nice and sharp off the leg. I should imagine definitely yes with him. <laughs> um, for you, can you do, this will be more of the challenge, a canter trot or a trot walk in a total straight line with his nose in front of you. So, you know, you can take a check and he doesn't curl up behind you. Yeah. I actually went to school on Monday, Cameron, yes. all by myself. Very good. And I worked on walk, canter, and canter walk. Oh, wow. I was getting like a stride of trot, but the, he was coming back to me so good. Well, you're, you're setting the bar high now. I don't want to do it today. <laughs> there's cross country jumps in the arena, but I was proud of myself for setting myself good, that good, challenge. Good, 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 yeah. good. But the challenge really for the jumping is when you slow down, can you really keep the nose in front of you? Okay. So that when you're coming to a fence, you can close so the grip. And he doesn't curl up. And he doesn't yeah. curl up. Um, good. Right. Have a little play in your own time, and I'm going to go and set something up over here. Okay, thanks. Fab. That's a jump. We have to jump that in a minute. <laughs> he looks positively gorgeous today. He's feeling positively gorgeous. Whoa, whoa. I don't know what your riding today looks really brilliant. It does. It looks, you just look really positive up there. He's liking the shadows. Because you now rip your bear back, everything else seems easy. <laughs> <laughs> Long way to continue. Yeah. <laughs> you're just, you know, he's really feisty, really up for it, and you're enjoying it, and you're patting him, and you're, you know, rather than going, oh, God, he's feeling a bit fresh today, you're almost enjoying the fact he's feeling fresh today, which is so <laughs> lovely to see. Would you reflect on that and agree? 100%. Yeah. yeah. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Although I'm a bit annoyed that he needs a clip again. <laughs> oh, I know. They've all gone like that all of a sudden. Fluffy boy. Um, in your warm-up, uh -huh. I want you playing with these undulations because, as I say, that's really what cross-country is. So you're just going to go up your one on the right. Yeah. Down this mound here. Yeah. So to me, the most important thing, eventually, I want you cantering down the mound. Yeah. But whatever gear you come down the mound, you have to stay in that when you get onto the flat. Don't come down the mound and let him run and flatten when he gets onto the flat piece of ground.
Well done. Next time around, do that again. You're going to come between your skinny wings. Hey, I got the train. I, I saw. <laughs> I am um, whoa, whoa, whoa. so up the mound that. again and then this time down the mound and through the skinny wings, okay? Right leg quick. Yes! I, this is like Tina on steroids, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And then hold the rhythm. Well done, big pat all the way around, do that once more. But rather than trying to see a distance to the skinny, just hold a connection. Whoa, whoa, skinny. it's not a jump. Work. Yes! I've never seen his hogs look so active. <laughs> they look amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> Flying chain shield middle. Funny. Tina, give him a little breather. Yeah, this this is almost bizarre. It, it, <laughs> it looks like we're getting ready to go novice next week. You know, that's how his canter and your confidence looks. Next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like does. setting the bar high, Cam. <laughs> it does. You look really, I love the canter. It's the best canter. I think I've genuinely, I'm not just saying it. The best canter you've ever had. Oh. Long may it continue. Yeah, definitely. It looks really positive and lovely. <laughs> um, Should we finish now? <laughs> but you can tell your canter's better because you're getting the changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And in order to get a change, you've got to have an active canter. And you're enjoying, as I said, the fact that he's feeling up for it rather than, you know, you 18 months ago would have gone, oh God, I can't stop. Oh yeah, when no, he comes yeah. out like that, yeah. Definitely embracing the fact that he's the fact that nice. he's feeling so yeah. good. Yeah, like you said when you rode him last week, he's feeling the fittest he's felt. Really, really good. So getting better and better by the day. So we'll do the same again. Up, down to your little skinny brush now. Okay. Right, that's my first jump. Yeah, perfect first jump. <laughs> I love you. Gone between the well, the solid part is what? Two foot three, maybe? We were friends. Yeah. <laughs> Check my girth. <laughs> but exactly like I said, you need to ride the connection to the brush, not ride the stride that perhaps you want to the brush, okay? Because yeah, you have yeah, yeah. the undulation coming before. Yeah. If you try and see a stride, all you're going to do is flatten him. Yeah. Or kill him. Okay. The best thing you can do coming down undulation with a bit of flat is just keep the connection and the feel and the rhythm, okay? okay? Especially as it has no back width to it. Focus on the weight in the hand. Brilliant. Good boy. Brilliant connection. But the fact you took the flag said to me you weren't straight. Straight, yeah. Yeah, good, come again. Whee! <laughs> so, Tina. Yes, Cam. Got a bit fast at the bottom there. What did you do? Fired him. Whoa. Why? Because I saw a stride. Because and you saw it. a stride. And I said, <laughs> in this situation, Don't change, yeah. you can't do that because you're now going to have another skinny on landing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but my point is, yeah. if you do that now, you're definitely going to run out from this skinny. Yeah. Okay. You've got to focus on keeping the connection, yeah. not on seeing Yeah, a bit too bold like that. over that one. Yeah. With the plain fences, be disciplined that you are in the middle of them. Don't look for a stride. Connection. Great. Oh, wow. <laughs> what has happened? Whoa, whoa. No! <laughs> Tina, what, I, this is amazing. It's, it's like you had a load of Harry bow or something. It's like I what? You had a load of Harry bow or something. <laughs> this is, you, it's amazing. Oh. Honestly, absolutely awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, he found that a bit of a short too, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, I put it 
slightly short on purpose because I didn't want him to have to stretch for it, but the mood he's in now. I almost That's... thought I was going on one for a minute. Yes. Um, amazing. Thanks. Absolutely amazing. He just feels so game on. Yeah, but you're not shortening his neck. Okay. Yeah. I, do you making... know what has sat in my brain so much? Yeah. When you say hands forward and short reins, long arms. Yes. I found I've had my reins so much shorter since yeah. that. Yeah. Clearly not short enough in my dressage warm up. I yeah. think from your commentary, <laughs> but you know. They're getting there. <laughs> um, that was awesome. Absolutely. Because it's amazing how much more you can, like you say, just release. Totally. Rather than actually have to fully give them their head. Totally, totally. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Yeah, that was amazing. Move them up to medium canter. Yeah. Because you put them really short and bouncy. Yeah. But then you don't want to get there and then prop too much and almost stop on you because they see the drop on landing. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So you then have to almost counteract that with your three strides out by saying go, go, go. Just like you do into water. And then um, land, you might have had to slip the reins at the log. Yeah, I'm not that keen on that middle log cam. That looks a bit chunky and very close to the drop, but you know. I think it looks quite beautiful. Beautiful. Um, so we'll do that one. Yeah. Um, and then you might be riding with slightly longer reins, but it's all about, again, connection uh -huh. all the way until he takes off. The point is, at the level you're doing, yeah. they will never build um, a fence here in a combination wide okay for it to have width on it say if this one also came out to here yeah that Ooh. would make it an intermediate question yeah, yeah yeah because then you have to be slightly more accurate uh -huh. because at this level they can build it horrible technical big but not wide so you can afford to land and just focus on the connection not the stride you're going to meet this on okay does that make sense because you could be slightly off this or close to it and as long as the connection's good, they're fine. Yeah. Because it hasn't got any width to it. Yeah. Is my point. They haven't got to hit it on the perfect stride. Yeah. Because it, there's no width. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh huh. So that's why. Don't stand like is... that though, because it makes it look bigger. Stand up. Well, because I'm tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I am two foot tall. <laughs> um, good. Right. You happy with where you're going? Yeah. I wasn't doing the roll tops again. I was coming straight round to that. Yeah. I know where I'm going. <laughs> Famous. Mm, perfect. Off. The yeah. other other little bit of technical. The log to the ditch to the log. Uh huh. Talk me through the logic there. Um, balance in before the log, and then I need to be turning over the log because it looks like it's probably only about two strides, is it? Yeah. Um, and then I need to give him his head so he doesn't unbalance me if he looks at the ditch. Yeah, that's spot on. The main thing I'd be getting that there technically is an ABC combination. Oh, look at my third fence. It's A to C with B in the way. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, if you ride from A to B, You'll never get to see if he's a triple see. brush. Yeah. No, it's always A to C and you let B happen underneath you. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. So that's the main thing. As I'm coming over A, I'm looking at C. And B just happens underneath me when, yeah. with any A, B, C combination, turning combination. Okay, Dix. Good. Right. At the right rein. Okay. Because you're doing the log, go and give yourself a lot more space, okay? Imagine it's a jump. Lovely. <laughs> wow. Imagine it is a jump into water. Okay. Short and bouncy. Now travel. Connection. Great. Brilliant. Very good. Yeah, I know I got lost as well. 
So, one really crucial moment to me was the ditch. Yeah, I didn't ride that well. Well, no, you rode in well, but what didn't you do that we talk about a lot? I didn't sit up and give him his head. You didn't slip enough. Yeah. yeah. So then when he went to have a look, you did get pulled. Yeah. Yeah, and it put you out and of balance. And it made my turn into see a bit short, yeah. Totally, totally. And if that was a triple brush, you would have had a problem. Yeah. Um, lovely down both times. How did that feel? Yeah, good. Yeah, He really, really nice. listened going down. Yeah. And you didn't try and over put him on a distance and either pull him or kick him. Yeah. You did just... I give him enough over the yeah, log definitely. or not? Yeah, definitely did. Definitely did. Um, I thought that was really nice, really nice. And then I went wrong over there, didn't I? I was meant to do the pig first. Yep. And then did, and then do the viaduct before viaduct, that. Viaduct, and that did ride as a double. There wouldn't room the other side of it, Cam. So. Oh uh, yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> if you're chucking an extra jump, I'm not going to say no. Um, really good, really, really good. Loving this. This is quite fantastic. Ooh. Really quite fantastic. People are going to think I'm paying you to be nice in a minute. No, I, I'm, I'm not. I, <laughs> I wouldn't be if you weren't. You know, it looks lovely. Thank you. Um, He's right, enjoying this, himself. That's the main this thing. This time what we'll do, we'll start with the middle log to the jump. Yeah. Yeah. Nice change. Good girl. Now remember to soften the grip before the first one. Check he's in front of you. Brilliant. Great. He's really cute. Go to the leg, not the seat. And she's qualified for badminton now, which is very exciting. Oh yes, I'll be I'll be very good. There. <laughs> Open the rain. Good girl. Good girl. See, there was a line there somewhere. And then travel. Good. Good. Think of the gear choice. Great. Now I want to see you slipping the reins out the ditch and the step. Slip. Good girl. Slip! Oh, good girl! Pretty fantastic. Yeah, would you agree? No, 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 not at all. I was going to say to this one, I said stay out of the water. Yeah, you made your line so much harder, almost jump it here and turn. But, brilliant, he was adjustable enough that you could open that door and he just came to you. Gorgeous. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, in general, though, Tina, really fantastic. Yeah, would you agree? What you said before the flower between, pot. Between, between, outside the flower, but inside that blue jump. Uh, Do you okay. See what I mean? Through that gap. To that would have given line. a much nicer line. Much nicer line. Legs for steering. Look at the next. Brilliant. Good, now the pigs. That was lovely. What, the 90 or 100? Yeah, I have, and it's, um, well, totally. That's why it's in. Good. Oh, good. Oh my God, he's too cool. <laughs> what am I doing now? <laughs> You're done now. Oh my God, he was incredible then. That was amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Oh wow, did he go through those stairs? Oh my god, wow. You are cool. So awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. I think genuinely the best I've ever seen him jump. <laughs> would you would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. For me though, Cam, can I just do a tra trachana, please? Yeah, of course you can. Don't want to undo any. Yeah. <laughs> but just that one over that there. Amazing, didn't it? Who qualified for the 100? I just want to do a tracana just for me, yeah. Very, very good. Um, right, all you can do then is go and do that little one there with the Christmas trees. That? Uh, this one. 
that trichina, yeah. Yeah, with the Christmas yeah. trees. Mm -hmm. And then and then go to that one. Okay, the smaller one of those three. Good. Listen. Making sure three strides out, you slightly slip the rein. Yeah. You're getting silly. Yeah, no, he's getting brilliant. <laughs> slip. React to what you get. Yeah, good. Don't chase the long stride. Allow him to get deep, but be there. Oh, good boy. <laughs> Brilliant. Don't chase him. He just wanted to go. No, 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 no. If he, <laughs> to any trachaner or ditch palisade, if they jump out of the hand, yep, yep. great, but you never chase them to that stride. No, no, you didn't, Tina. Brilliant, Tina. Slip. Yes, big pat. I loved your rain contact yeah. because it allowed him to do that extra little careful yeah. stride and go boom boom. Yeah, which is what he'd rather do. Exactly. Isn't that? Good and actually, so would every horse. Yeah. Yes, very good boy. Very good boy. <laughs> Honestly, Thank you. best I've ever, Aww. ever seen him go. Thank ever, you. ever, ever. And best I've ever seen you ride. Aww. But you set the session up like that because you came in and you were already really positive in the canter and really positive in your position and. Well, if I manage to stay on, oh, did yes. I stay on or did I fall off? <laughs> stay on bare back. Well, you managed to stay on sometimes. <laughs> In the flat work. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm not just saying it, Tina. Whether we're on or off camera, that was quite lovely. I'm sorry, Pat. It's only a compliment when it comes from Emily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think, Emily? I thought it was brilliant. He's so gay. You're so gay. Yeah. Nice. And it's like you said right at the beginning. Sorry. You come in and you're laughing that he's not liking shadows. Yes. Yeah, and it used to terrify me. Yeah. You used to come in and that 10 yards away, 10 is horrible. He didn't even work. Totally, yeah. totally. I'd hold on to him too much, wouldn't I? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Looked absolutely awesome. Thank you. I'm so pleased you still came because obviously with the event being cancelled at the weekend and it's such a long way for you yep you know i thought it would have been easy for you to go oh yeah i won't go because i haven't got my arena cross country event it's a long way i so nearly did and especially them and addy wasn't coming i yes. was like oh okay well we could cancel cam might like to finish work early and for, I, no, for but a honestly, change on one day i thought actually <laughs> so as you said you want to jump solid cross country jumps once a month yeah and you have forced yourself to come up and it has gone better than i even imagined it could yeah <laughs> so that is awesome thank you absolutely awesome good tina good boy really really good you should be so proud of yourself thank you i just so like you say it doesn't need to be long does it it can be short no. and sweet and yeah yeah he slightly cut himself just there uh that's he cut him he did that at bicton oh, so the scabs just oh, come oh, off bless yeah him. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm the best I've ever seen him look. That's the first time I've ever seen you be able to consistently get flying changes from him. I know. I know. Absolutely awesome. You are so it's much the more timing, isn't it? I know. It's the Let's say you can't really teach. You just have to find it yourself. Yeah, okay. Um, awesome. Oh, I'm buzzing. Yeah, I'm buzzing too. Buzzing Thank after you. that. I'm oh. excited for Friday. I know. Well, I Do you know what I'm fly. doing on Friday? I don't even know if I am or not. <laughs> Well, you don't know if I am. I don't know if I'm oh, excited or not. That's because you don't know what you're doing. What I, mean. I know what yes. I'm doing. Anyway, that's Vlogmas. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. happening. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure. That was so good. Oh. So, so good. Nice, doesn't it? Right, that is a wrap. Time to get home. And look, we're even, even leaving in the daylight. That was definitely worth the long trip, wasn't it, boyo? And you get a stub muffin for being fantabulous. Mwah, and big kisses. Let's get you home sweet home. I'm excited to go back and watch the footage. Huge thanks to Cam for the fabulous tuition. As always, M, bless her for doing okay. epic filming. Well, I know it's going to be epic. Yeah. Videography. Yeah. And Jodie, who came what? and filmed the as well. The person who didn't put the mics Why on to begin to? with. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it's your first time just using them. <laughs> Benefit of the doubt. We'll let you off just this once. And again, a big shout out to SEIB for collaborating yeah. with me on this video and keeping yeah. Daisy nice and safe and insured whilst on the road with my precious cargo inside again all the details their phone number and their web link address will be in the description box below so do go and check it out if you need a quote for renewing your insurance for either your horse or your horse's vehicle i'm absolutely chuffed with how today's session went feels good to be entering winter training nice and confidently long way at last thank you for watching guys thanks for your support as always and i will see you all very very soon
Bye. So I. Bye. Bye. See, that is his camera voice. <laughs> Live, love, laugh. <laughs> You're not on Meg's channel, Pam. Thanks, say bye. Mwah. You didn't even get it right. Um, and, and... Did you say live, laugh, love? Love, laugh, live. See you soon.